Um, adjusting route concepts. We've talked about this a lot, but basically, you know, the defender is basing his decision off of a defender or defenders in his portion of the coverage. So again, we're not teaching our guys to have to go out and read the full field and read the full cover picture. Our guys are reading a specific area of their coverage. And we have vertical choice concepts that we've covered in the extensive other two videos available um you know through td publications and we're going to talk about the quick choice okay so the quick choice is is a three-step concept a quick game concept you know I, i've talked multiple multiple times about we have what we call a no read uh quick game this is really the only uh concept that we have where we are running quick game and we are running we are asking the quarterback to, to basically read it out you know, on the quick game, it's not a screen, it's not an attachment, things of that nature. Now, when you talk about adjusting pass route design and implementation, we're under the understanding that everything the defense does will be wrong, and your kids will believe that. And the more you rep that and the more you stress that, your kids will literally think that they are unstoppable running routes, and, and they are going to believe that they're going to get open. And your quarterback is going to believe that they're going to get open. And your quarterback and receiver are going to be such on the same page that that they have so much confidence, you know, in the passing game. And I think that's important. You know, confidence is critical. So, again, they've got to be on the same page. And that's done through the high reps. I've talked about this over and over and over again. You want to throw the ball, you've got to have reps. You want to throw the ball, you got to have reps. They've got to be good reps. And they've got to be viable reps. And this is nothing against, um, you know, you see a lot of teams like that will do that. We used to do it. We used to do routes on air, you know, an old air raid deal, you know, got from Hell Mummy. Um, and, you know, the routes on air, the problem with routes on air is we're not throwing on air in the game. So I don't want to throw on air. I want to throw against defenders. You know, I want to throw against coverage looks. I want to throw against leverage. You know, I want our guys to identify. They're, they're not doing that if it's on air or against a barrel, you know, they would set barrels up and do all kinds of stuff, those pop-up dummies. I mean, that's not, those aren't moving. You know, I, w I want our guys out there going against somebody that's moving, somebody that's giving them a look, and, and over and over and over again. And um, the other thing that's important to understand is when, when you're running, uh, you know, adjustable routes, they're usually always paired with locked routes. So a lot of people think they hear the words run and shoot, they think everybody just kind of running wherever they want to run, and it's a mass, you know, look of the spaghetti routes everywhere. That's not the case. There are defined locked routes in with the multiple adjusting routes, and I think that's something that's very important, you know, keep in mind as you as you uh, discuss, you know, and implement your passing game. And and um, you know, very importantly, you know, th this comes right back to the the whole teaching progression that exists on every play. And I've stressed this in other videos, but we come right back to it because of the importance of it. Again, your alignment. Where are you lining up? The stance that you have. What are your coverage keys? And then what is your responsibility? Those four things with your players take zero ability. Doesn't matter if you're the worst player on the team or you're an all-state player. You can do those four things. Now, what you do after that is your ability, okay? But, but those four things anybody can do. So we, we do not accept um, any, any sort of failure, okay, in, in those areas. Now, talking about any multiple adjusting routes, not just, you know, not just these, you know, when it's a down the field uh, route, and, and, I, and I do stress this in the other video, but we don't put landmarks on where we're breaking, you know, these routes. The whole idea is you have to drive past the under coverage before the decision is made. So you've got to get got to get through that second level and you've now got to be able to get to a position where you're threatening, you know, at the third level. So, so again, don't get preoccupied with the yardage. You hear somebody say, oh, break it eight yards or break it seven. That's not how this works when you're throwing the ball down the field. Um, you know, speed off the ball is critical. You know, breaking down that defender's leverage, getting that release that you need to get to be able to, to defeat that defeat that under coverage if you're in the slot. 
And then obviously get behind the linebacker or the DB if you can. You know, don't let him get hands on. You know, we work slapping hands away and 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 all those kind of things in our in our indie drills, just because when we're working defeat man coverage, we we don't want um, you know, we don't want them to be able to get hands on our guys. And, you know, the other reason we really, really like these in our offense, it obviously gives us answers against varied coverage techniques. We don't care what coverage they're running. We feel these players, these plays give us an opportunity to, to get open against whatever we may see, you know, on that Friday night. And your players are never going to truly feel they're covered. You know, they're, they're going to think they're gonna, always going to be open. If you asked our guys right now what route you want to run, they're going to say choice. You know, you tell them pick a route choice. They're not going to say vertical. They're going to say choice. OK, um, you know, number three, you got to drill it. You know, that's that's the most important thing. If, if you are not drilling it the way that that we're kind of laying out for you here, you know, you're, you're going to um, you're going to put yourself in a situation where, um, you know, you're you're not going to get the reps that, that you truly need to be successful. 